Hello my beautiful consorts, it's me here. Today I will recreate an image of a woman that ancient Vietnam used to consider beautiful. If you happen to be on the Asian beauty side of the internet, you are probably familiar with the topic of beauty standards. So basically, each country will have different beauty standards, like what would consider to be pretty in Korea, what would be considered to be pretty in China, or in India, or in Thailand, are very different. I feel like when I was growing up, I was so obsessed with this topic. Not because society keep putting on this beauty standard as a pressure for girls to feel insecure about themselves. But it is an interesting topic. They say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. However, at a certain place and time, there are certain features that were considered to be more beautiful than others. And society tends to treat these beauty standards as trends. That's also the idea behind this video. I want to recreate um, an ancient woman to see how much beauty standards have changed in Vietnam, what considered to be beautiful in the past might not be considered to be beautiful today. Most of the artifacts that I am using today belong to somewhere around the 16th to the 18th century, which was the later Lei dynasty in Vietnam. I also use some common metaphors in Vietnam that people used to use to describe beauty. And this is just me trying my best to recreate this ancient look. It's very hard to do a 100% accuracy based on the paintings that I found because as you know the art style in Asia was very different uh, from you know the more modern art style or the western art styles where it's super realistic um, the eastern art styles were more abstract so it was very hard to tell what people exactly look like with that further ado let's get to it Skin. Both ancient and modern beauty place a lot of emphasis on skin. There is a saying in Vietnamese, mặt hoa da phân, which roughly translated into face beautiful like a flower, it's skin powdered. Back in the day, only rich people can afford to stay indoors to keep their skin fair. Vietnamese woman has been using powder as makeup for a very very long time. My skin tone right now is medium fair, so in order to achieve achieve that powdered fair look, I will mix some white foundation into my foundation to lighten the tone. I will also use a lot of powder to achieve that matte powder uh, porcelain look. Contour was not in guys. In the country, having strong jawbone and high cheekbones was deemed to be unlucky for a woman. A face shape that mentioned a lot in folk saying was the oval shape. Based on many paintings and statues, it seemed like a somewhat soft and chubby face was also considered to be pretty. So lucky for me, I already have a pretty chubby cheek, so I'm not gonna do any contour today. It's just let my face shine. Eyebrows and eyes. The early 2000 babies are calling because today we do our eyebrow theme. Based on various references from both the Lei Dynasty and the Nguyen Dynasty and also the 20th century, it seems like women had very thin eyebrows, mostly in a curved shape. Long mai la liu or eyebrow like a weeping willow leaf is a common saying in Vietnam. Eyebrows are done and now let's move to the eyes. There are two sayings talking about beautiful eyes. First is phoenix eyes and the second is coriander leaf eyes. Both have the very same features of having an upward tails. Fox eyes and siren eyes and sisters. Upward eyes definitely make the woman look more sharp and alluring. I'm cheating a little bit here. I don't think that women used eyeshadow or eyeliner back in the day, but my eye shape are downward, so I need some help here. I'm adding a subtle eyeliner to bring those eyes up. Teeth. Her white teeth was so out of style back in the day. Having black teeth was a beauty standard for Vietnamese women for such a long time. People used to go through such a complex process to get their teeth black, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm cheating using this black teeth dye from Amazon. 
Is there anything you can't find on Amazon nowadays? This is extremely messy and kind of tingly, so I'm just gonna do my front teeth for the sake of this video. Let's talk lips! Red lipstick seem to be a thing. On various paintings, statues, and photos portraying women, there are red lips. I think having small mouth was considered to be beautiful. My lips are very big though, so I'm gonna hide them with uh, some concealer. Hair! There is a saying in Vietnamese, teeth and hair are the most important features to define the attractiveness and beauty in women. Having super dark straight hair has always deemed as beautiful. But let's face it, as Vietnamese, we don't have much choice. Most of us have very black and straight hair, so it's more of taking care and embrace that beauty. Keeping it straight and healthy is especially important during the Lei Dynasty because one of the most common hairstyles of this period is to to have your very very long hair down. Because my hair is not long enough, I'm gonna use some hair extensions to help to cheat with this. Voila! Now I'm a beautiful lady in the 17th century and ready to be admired in poems by men. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about this look? Do you prefer modern or ancient beauty standards? Thank you for watching and see you next time!